Okay, so example one, data is given by the lecturer. Okay, so this person is more ambitious than you guys or than we because they are doing experiment up 120 20 minutes, okay? And then checking at every depth, different depth. And then they find out the percentage removal. And look at the question. It says that given the C0 is 400 milligram per liter, the overflow rate is given. You see, the overflow rate is given. Now they want you to find out the effectiveness of the tank. Okay, just like that what we did. So the overflow rate is given. Then we need to find out the effectiveness of the settling column. See, they didn't say of the tank, of the sedimentation tank. If it says of the sedimentation tank, then we have to uh, times with the scale up factor. But this one is just of the settling column. Right, you have data like this. So the next step is you have data, then what you need to do? The first step. Plot, plot. plot graph, okay. So you have, you need to plot graph like this. So we can always just check, you know, just pick up whether it's correct or not. So at the at time 40 minutes, height 1.2, so the percentage removal is 58. Is it true? 40 minutes, 1.2. So yes, 58 minutes. Yeah, 58 percent. 58 percent. That's correct. So I hope that this lecturer has already labeled the points correctly. So the next step is draw is to draw the ISO concentration lines. Okay, like that. You see, the first ISO concentration line that they draw is 100%, then 70% line, and then 60% line, and surprise, surprise, the last line is 54% line. So they don't uh, pick a nice number like 50, 60, 70 only, but sometimes 54% also can be used. Yes. Uh, why did we take line at 40 minutes? Right. Okay, we were given the overflow rate now. Okay. So from overflow rate, you can find out your detention time. So divide, you know, by using formula H divided by T. So now you, you tell me, what is your T? Try to, to get your T. I want it to be in minutes, not in an hour. Can everyone try to attempt? Okay, overflow rate is given. Then find out your T. Overflow rate is equal to H divided by T. Okay, H, our H is 1.8. So 1.8 divided by 2.7 should be something in hour. Okay, so from that hour, you need to change it to minutes. What minutes? What is the time in the minutes? Have you already got that? Pak Pulo. thank you. Okay, 40 minutes. Ada, ada, ada. Yes. Uh, H20. Kita memang kena ambil yang paling bawah. This is the height of the column. Ke kita kena pilih satu tak ya? No, no, no. This is the height of the column. What it means, you want to design the tank that height is 1.8. That's why they have the certain column to be 1.8. Okay, okay. Right, okay. So, if they want to have a height of settling, uh, settling tank or sedimentation tank to be two meters, then they have column of two meters. Okay. So that's why this person got that forty. Or they choose forty because of the overflow rate is given, and they calculated the t to be forty, and it's straight away go to this forty and trying to measure off the delta H, delta H, and delta H, like that. Right, now, our next step is, so yeah, that's why, this is given there, 40 minutes, and then plot the graph, you've done that, it's not only you, it's being printed already, so we need to find out our RT. Okay, this is something you need to fill on part three. So our RT, H1, eh, oh, sorry, delta H1 is 0 0.46, divided by the height of the column, 1.8. And that is 100% and this is 70%. So you got that. 100 plus 70 divided by 2. And then the next one is this distance, delta H2, 0 0.55 divided by 1.8. And this line is 70 and this, the third line is 60. So that 
70 plus 60, 0.55 correspond to this uh, distance, okay? Divided by 1.8, height of the column. And then the last part, this height, 0 0.79, okay? Divided by 1.8 times 60%, and it happens that that point at 40 is 54%. So 60 plus 54 divided by 2. 60 plus 54 divided by 2. And eventually, you will obtain your answers to be 66.6%. So, yes. <clears throat> Can you explain to me again how to get R1, R2, R3, and R4? R1, R2, R3, and R4. Delta H, you mean? Uh, no. Uh, for formula RT. Okay. Uh, can we have R1 plus R2 over 2, right? For oh, this one, you mean? The value? Yes, the, the value. Uh, R, 17. R1 is R1 is 100%, right? Oh, I see. All right. I know what you mean. Two, how, how you get R, R2 is 70, R3, R3 is 60, yes, right. R4 is 54. Can you explain to me? Okay, it does not really matter, actually. It's not necessarily 70. This is the line that you draw. You yourself draw. Or we feel that we like to draw 70% line, then we draw 70% line. How do we draw that? Perhaps that was the question, okay? So let's, the first uh, line is 100%, okay? It's basically a straight line parallel to the x-axis. That's the first line. The second line, okay, just in case you do not like 70%, which is fine to me, okay? You probably like 72 72 so this is you know that this is 72 percent line so this is 62 i hope that everyone can see and this is 74 you have to measure where 72 can be perhaps 72 is there okay that means you can draw 72 line 70 uh, point from this is 72 point this is another 72 point so you draw one line linking this point and that point and just extrapolate it to zero so we will be having 72 percent line and if you are like to draw another line let's see we are interested with 60 percent line so this is definitely 60 so from this data you can see that 58 is here 62 is there you have to measure it's not just guess okay you have to measure to be sure that this probably has got to be 60 point 60 percent point so just link those points and extrapolate okay this one is 59 this is 62 so we assume that we don't assume we measure it to be this one is 60 for instance so you have to basically connect this 60 to this 60 to that 60 forming a line and iso concentration line of 60. okay so you can always draw as many lines as you like but okay if you got if you have, you have drawn too many lines so your calculation will be very long I wouldn't deny the fact that the more lines you draw, okay, the better, the more precise the answer. But it will take time in the exam. Okay, perhaps drawing one, two, three lines will be better for examination. That will be enough, I think. Okay, do not be too lazy. Just draw one line. At least one, two, three lines will be better. We'll be okay. We'll be fine. I really hope that it answers your question. Oh, uh, sir. Uh, I have uh, another question. Uh, if we look at example one table, number one, okay. Minute for uh, time forty, depth one point eight. The percent, the percent removal is fifty four. Right, that's right. If I want to make fifty percent, can or not? In the line. Um, the removal. You want to make to uh fifty percent line? Yes. Yes, but it's no use, okay? Because fifty percent line, you see, this one is fifty four. Fifty percent. Fifty four. Yes. Fifty must be around here, okay? So if you draw that line, it does not hit your T. Your T is at forty. Your T, okay? The time. The time obtain from oh, the oh yes yes uh, now now i understand 
All right. Okay. To so you, in, intercept the T, right? Yes. It must intercept the the last point. I think there's a good question. Oh. Last point or whatever. Um, whenever you find your T, let's say uh, for this case is for T. Let's say for the you do another calculation. Perhaps they they change the V naught. So let's say your T is fifty. So you must know what is the value for that t if you don't know that so that will be a disaster okay so you really need to know let's say if the t is 50 yeah, in, in different examples okay let's say the t uh, is 50 that means since we have this 54 and that's 59 that you have to measure you you've got to measure perhaps if this is one is 57 percent. so that that means uh, your last point is 57 and the height now, the delta H3 now has changed, you know, from this is uh, 57, this is line 60. So the height now is definitely going to be smaller than 0 0.79 because that is the only height. And then the delta H becoming different delta H from there to there. And then delta H1 will be different delta H1 from there to there. Oh, okay, sir. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you, Dr. All right. So can I stop now? Yes. Okay, no problem.